welcome to night number 20 of History Bedtime Stories. In bed, in our pajamas, tonight I wanna to talk about a very underappreciated, often stolen, and legally licensed statue here in the city of Detroit. It is the James E. Script Newsboy statue out on Belle Isle. This is a postcard, postmarked 1907, showing the statue in front of the Newsboy, you can see it in the background, pavilion. Another uh, postmarked in 1905, again showing the statue, a young man dropping coins from one hand to the other as if counting them, his faithful pooch, his dog down here at his side, over his shoulder, a shoe shine kit. This statue was unveiled on July 6, 1897 by Mayor William Cotter Mayberry and owner of the Detroit Evening News, James E. Script. It was the culmination of the Newsboys picnic held out on Belle Isle, Detroit's park in the middle of the Detroit River. 5,000 Newsboys were brought in by train and ferry from Detroit, Flint, Bay City, Jackson, and Ann Arbor to the island at the cost, all being assessed to the Detroit News owner to give them a celebration day. They had sausages and picnics. They ate uh, baked potato mashes and hot pork pies. They went swimming. The Detroit Newsboy band made up of all newspaper boys played. There were sort of Olympic style games held with prizes. And at the end, James E. Scripps unveils the statue done by the artist Frederick Dunbar at a cost of $1,500, which today is about $100,000. The statue is meant to honor the boys, many of whom were orphans, that worked as independent contractors to newspapers, selling the papers on street corners, at trolley stops, and outside of bars, making the newspaper tycoons not only incredibly influential, but incredibly wealthy. The statue is unveiled and William Cotter Mayberry, mayor of Detroit, gives the newspaper boy in the statue a license to sell papers in the city of Detroit and issues a dog tag to his faithful companion. The statue uh, remains a fountain in the city until 1966 when the newsboy himself is stolen. He is eventually found and returned but stolen again in 1974. In 1997, 100 years after the statue is unveiled, it undergoes a restoration and a new newsboy has to be made from scratch in order to replace the stolen one. Using photos, a local artist is able to recreate the statue and today it remains in place out on Belle Isle, although the fountain no longer works. The Detroit Evening News becomes the Detroit News, which is still in existence, and the old newspaper boys can still be seen every year in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. They are part of a charity that sells papers twice yearly in order to raise money to make sure every kid gets a Christmas. It's called one of the great exports of Detroit, a charity that has been so widely copied in other cities that Detroit's old newsboys, honored on a fountain on Belle Isle, still have influence over the kids growing up in Detroit and in low-income neighborhoods in America today. If um, you were ever a newspaper boy or girl, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. Share and like this video, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Wash your hands.